guys, we talked about rejection yesterday and we just finished on the healing, the winter circle and we just went a little deeper into it. And once you find out that you have been dealing with a spirit of rejection to the point you're afraid for that person to walk away, you're afraid for them to say certain words like, I don't want to be with you. So you overplease and overcompensate because you would hate to hear the words that you're not the one. God is saying, as soon as you get that fear out of you, a fear of loss of that person is when God can send that person because idolatry has left. You're not fearful of any man. You're only fearful of God. You're not fearful of losing anything other than God. And then he can usher that man and usher that woman into your life because the spirit of rejection and the spirit of losing them has gone. And now you can accept them wholeheartedly, knowing that since they found you, they found a good thing. Knowing that since they found you, they found favor and a blessing because you are a prize. So I just wanted to hop on here and share that with you. Remove, remove that fear of losing them. And then they don't, you don't have to uh, walk around doing dances and, oh, oh, you know, to make them see your value because they'll see it. I, I don't, if I lose you, I lose you. But my, my confidence is anchored in God. I know my work is anchored in him. So if you want to walk out my life, you can do that because I'm anchored in him and, and I know my value. And your spouse wants you to know your value. Your spouse will get a kick out of you knowing who you are and not feeling like, oh my God, you're going to be clingier. They always have to be around you because you have a fear of rejection. But your spouse will be able to be comfortable and it'll be pleasing to them as well to know that your confidence rests in God and not in them leaving you. If you feel led to to this word, hashtag, I got it, sis. I got it. I hope you did. You're free from that spirit of rejection. You're worthy and you deserve the best.